Good morning. This reading is a Twin Flame Collective reading for Woodpecker or Cancer uh, Astrology or Zodiac. Okay, so for Woodpecker, um, which is the Native American um, totem for the Cancer, right? So Northern Hemisphere, if you're June 21st to July 21st, you fall in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, for the Southern Hemisphere, your dates would be December 22nd to January 19th. For your direction, your Southern or South direction, element is water, and your stone is rose quartz. And again, while the Cancer might have a different stone, because I think it's an amethyst, but for the Native American, your stone is rose quartz. Woodpecker people are kind-hearted community and family t caretakers. Through, though possessive, woodpeckers love to utterly devoted and are faithful. On this turn of the medicine wheel, woodpeckers' lesson is learning to how to let go, which is important in this journey, right? So release things that no longer serve you. Be with like-minded or kind-hearted community and people that have high vibrations. Oops, we're going to get two cards for energy, overall energy for the next five days, starting today. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, too many. <laughs> you said overall energy. <laughs> oh, I'm going to finish this up. Two cards. But you can always count on spirit to give you more than you have so far. <laughs> right? Beautiful cards, beautiful cards. Oh, okay, this is a. See, your week is going to vary because this is five, a five day reading, and we got five energies. <laughs> Each one may differ for different people on this collective wave. So, Woodpecker, you have the Scorpio for today. So, you are coming out of the dark. Sometimes you're in the dark, sometimes you're in the light. But today, you feel like stinging somebody. So, you're starting the week off a little fiery. Um, you're headed to the light still, but you're like right there on the edge. If anybody annoys you or bothers you, you're ready to sting. That's for today. For Tuesday. We have the elephant, um, fire water, or air, si fire sign. You see the twin flame uh, here. He's been through the battle. He's got um, tusks tore or broke off. He, you know, looks weary from the journey. He's walking into the light but protecting that flame. He's in, his uh, third eye is open. He knows where he's going. The light's Revealed and he's coming out of the darkness to the light protecting the fire flame For Wednesday you have firefly very cute fireflies are um, busy um, Energized high vibration they give off light when they need to but their Vibration or their light they give off is a short term, right? if you think um, of the firefly in the dark it goes for a little while. Sometimes as kids you may have put them in jars to wash them. Um, they only burn or stay lit for a little while and then that's it. It's over. <laughs> okay, that's an air sign. Okay, water sign. You've got the beaver. He's a cute guy. He's very busy. Um, he stays near the water. So it's a hard worker. So you're going to have a lot of work on Thursday. Um, you may be in your emotions because he's a water character. We have another water character on Friday. So Friday you're going to be um, in the depths of your emotions, down deep, right? Because I supposed to stay down in the deepest part of the ocean or sea. Really. Um, so while your crown chakra is lit up, you um, your aura is lit up. Full of color down there, 
you are in your knowing, you're in your feeling, and you just want to hide because of all your emotions. You just want to hide. The octopus has the ability to make themselves unseen. They can be transparent or clear. Um, so when you, maybe on Friday, you're going to be so emotional that you just want to go, you know, hide in your house or, you know, stay to yourself um, and meditate or stay connected to source. You're not sad, but you're, you know, your emotional feelings from the deep down in are coming up. And again, that's Friday. So this part is all, you know, you're fiery and you're airy. <laughs> And then you go to the waters, to the depths of your emotion. So I'm going to pull some colors. Shuffle one first Okay. So for today, the card for today, tomorrow. Thank you. So this is for the Falcon and Cancer. Falcon and Cancer for Tuesday. Falcon and Cancer for Tuesday. Two precise messages for the cancer. Oh, you pick it right Maybe you're dealing with a falcon. I don't know why I said falcon. Which one you find community? Readings for your pecker? Tuesday, please. heavy breathing here. You've got ten of wands. So you completed the at the end of this you have a burden you want to put it down. You're struggling as you drop some of your wands. You can't really see where you're going. You don't know where you're headed. 
you know you have to go somewhere and you're just not sure what path to take. So for today, um, it feels burdensome to you, um, your day in general. Okay. On Tuesday, yep. You have to feel like there's something to celebrate. So on Tuesday, with your elephant energy, you know, getting beat up, right? Um, feeling tethered and worn out, still protecting that flame. You have a celebration, three of cups. Right now, I'm not feeling this card is a uh, third party and just seeing a celebration. So maybe you had victory in some situation at, at work or home. Okay, so you're feeling like you want to celebrate. Here, people are standing against you. Maybe they don't believe in what you're believing in. They don't believe who you're seeing in something um, about that. You have to keeping your uh, divine counterpart nearby. You're holding your staff that um, you are holding on to your belief of the journey. And those here aiming sticks at you don't believe in what you believe. They're not. Their backs are turned to that science. And they're waving wands at you. So you have yet another, you know, battle on your hands. Yep. You're going to come out victorious in the end, but it's going to be a struggle. Um, you feel like you're the queen of wands. You feel like you're ready for battle. You're holding on still to the wand. Your science behind the journey. You're uprooting your old belief system. You're leaving behind things that no longer serve you. Still keeping his little cardinal up in the top of the tree. Um, the arms of this look like the um, roots to the tree. That's, um, so that's why you're uprooting the old belief system. You're not yet in your feelings here. You're feeling fiery. Uh, you have red and gold on you um, as an outfit. There's not much green. I don't see any green really in this card. Maybe the bush back there, but that's it. So everything else is red and orange. Um, but you're keeping, again, your divine counterpart close by in, at heart. For Wednesday, you have where you, um, you know, you had a celebration, then people, maybe these are family members or friends that are up against you, which is why you're taking a stand here. But now you feel like you have a decision to make. You're, even though it's light outside, you've got the candles, there's nothing to worry about because your protector is right beside you. Whether this is your spirit guide or a past loved one, you're covering your face and to see where you're going, to see that the swords are in front of you and nothing to be afraid of. You just have to remove the hands from your eyes um, so that you can see. It's self-imposed in, in this case. Some cards in reverse and cards in upright. Yeah, so you're going from that to just still. Your eyes are open now, but you're still putting yourself in this position. With the beaver, you're in your emotions now, right? So um, with the firefly, maybe you felt burnt out because they only like can only stay lit for a short time and then they blow out, right? And maybe that's how you're feeling on Wednesday. On Thursday, you're in your emotions. You feel like you've worked hard at this. So you're putting yourself in the Nine of Wands. Um, but you could clearly fit through there. I also see the cockroaches or bugs that, um, in front of this um, self-imposed cage. So you... Oh, now it always tickles. Sorry. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so you're still feeling very defensive at whatever is coming at you here. And you feel like they're cockroaches because they don't support you. Yeah. So 
So you, you know your um says the counterpart. So maybe this is your divine counterpart trying to walk away. He's putting the burden of the journey behind him. When you're holding close to him, you know that it's been hard work. You know people have battled against you, but you're standing as a queen and putting yourself in that position. Um, while the harpent is here to make, you know, giving up bad habits, giving up um, both succumbing to this energy. Is that the divine counterpart? That's the right reader for the walker. Okay. Okay, Spirit says this isn't the divine counterpart. This is you, the watcher. Whoever's watching this video, this is you put, um, feeling like you have a lot to carry, lots of burdens. You're A lot of hard work. You still, you know where you're supposed to be headed, but along the way, you're leaving things that no longer serve you. So the battle, the queen, this, this. So the hierophant. So the Hierophant here is the counterpart, not that one. This is you. This is your divine counterpart. He's in his Hierophant energy and knows you both have to um, surrender to this journey or you can't come together, which is why you have lovers in, or four of wands in reverse because it's not a stable half. Um, not stable yet you're not connecting but it's because you have um, bad habits or devil energy to succumb to and it's a fight it's a battle to um, within yourself um, while there may be um, a hornet's nest nearby that keeps getting stirred up you feel like you can't see. They have blindfolds on. Interesting. Yeah, you feel like you're left out in the cold with the five of pentacles. Um, you feel like even those you trusted are turning against you here with this, um, I think it's a German shepherd uh, barking or growling at you. So you may have five pentacles, but everyone's turning against you. You feel out, left out in the cold, which is why you're diving deep in your emotions. Somebody's not protecting the... It's leaving behind what... No, you're leaving behind no longer, what no longer serves you, but you're turning your back on now on the flame because he left you up. You feel like he's also left you out in the cold. Don't turn your back on your counterpart. You'll just have to start the journey over. Like here, you know, you'll be in one big circle of the path. You're going to have to come back around and start over. Don't turn your back on the counterpart. He is working on the journey the same as you. 
he's dropping what no longer serves him. Perhaps he feels like he's ignoring the He's ignoring the connection as well. So your backs are against each other instead of for each other. Okay, let's get some clarification. Okay. Spirit says this deck. And I got a oh, shoot, I got go. Four wands in reverse. You are carrying the burden and you want stability, but you don't have stability right now. Um, so you're going to leave this. You feel like you want to leave this journey and focus on you, but you're tied to one another. And somebody's not happy about it because this one's howling. And you're surrounded in the moon's energy with emotion because there's a water there. Um, clarify. What was that one? Six of Wands. Clarify Six of Wands. With Eight of Swords, yeah, you feel um, like everything is coming against you, but all you have to do is you have a sword there to fight back. These two swords are, um, the handles are facing you. These are not the handle, is it? Yeah. So all these other ones are facing towards you, stabbing, like as if they're going to stab you. These two are your weapons to fight back. But you've got yourself blindfolded in the situation, feel like you're stuck in a cobweb, because there's a cobweb behind you in this card. Again, you have the water below you and, and full moon above you, so a lot of emotion is making you feel that way. Spirit, what's the Three of Cups? What's the Three of Cups here? Is this a celebration or is this a therapy? I feel like it's a celebration or something. You, um, you have eight of coins in reverse, but you received a message. And perhaps um, eight of cups, so you received maybe a message, maybe a promotion, or something that gave you um, a reason to celebrate and making you not feel like you're left out in the cold on this day. Then you have the battle. What's the hurricane about on um, here? What's the hurricane? Lovers, yeah. The hurricane was your lover that's trying to turn back, or you're turning your back on him, them, him, her, whichever, because it's in the upright, so somebody is connected with the lovers but and he has the page of wands he wants to come in with um, a message for you it is immature energy as a page 
and you really want the hairpins. But this is the messenger coming with the message. Your lover is the hairpin. Okay. And why is Seven of Swords turning their back on the flame? Why is Seven of Swords turning their back on the flame? Because there's been tears and it's been hurt. Um, maybe the message was a hurtful message or something like that. But it's Three of Swords, um, not in their truth. And you want the truth. Somebody's been crying. And I think every reading so far yesterday received this card. Um, so it, maybe it's a collective thing with the full moon energy here. Um, but somebody felt uh, maybe stabbed in the back or felt like they should receive the truth and they didn't. Anything else for this reading spirit? Anything else for this spirit for you? Yeah. Got seven of swords in reverse. Um, let's see. Yeah. You want to come in from the outside and you have two swords inside to still protect you, but you're leaving the others outside. And on the bottom you have the Page of Cups, so again, um, another page coming in with uh, to offer you a cup of love, but in this page his cup isn't really full, you don't see any water or anything in it. So, um, that's, um, maybe that's for Saturday. Maybe he's coming in with an apology. Maybe the apology was, maybe this is the apology, but he's coming in with a message. So that makes me think that it was written. Maybe a text message, something like that. So, maybe that's why the three of swords and what you're crying about, because while the message was nice, it wasn't the truth. And you knew it wasn't the truth, and it made you cry. All right, that's what we have for you in this part. Let me get you some I need a spirit card. Okay. Not even from the bottom, but right from the inside. Elders. Um, yeah, call out to your um, elders that have gone, passed on before you. Go in nature. Remember, the elders are the wise ones. They protect the young in the forest from enemies. Ask them for assistance. Spirit of fire. Um, yeah, spirit of fire. It motivates you. you go, some of you might want to go camping or go outside and have a small bonfire. Notice that in this card, the waters are uh, still or calm in the sun setting, or the setting of the sun. So, go out and meditate. Um, use the spirit of fire to motivate you to be in nature and, and be calm, be still, do self-love. Spirit of earth, again, go out in earth. Again, we have another sunset um, here. So, in the sunset is the best time to um, Meditate and take things in. Do self-healing. Circle of life. Yeah, everything goes goes around. It's just a circle. Time is an illusion. What you don't complete in this lifetime, you're going to have to complete in the next as you re reincarnate. Gather your tribe. Gather your those around you of the same uh, belief. And the angels want you to know. What do the angels want them to know? Angel of diet and nutrition. Yeah, pay attention to what you eat and drink. You're you intuitively know what is good for you. So pay attention to your intuition.
Angel of space clearing. Yeah, get rid of the things that no longer serve you. Avoid people that no longer are supportive of you if they're low vibration. It's time to clear out old negative thoughts and feelings. Goddess of beauty, you are a wondrous being of light. There is nothing to change or fix. All the beautiful butterflies, the heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye is all open, you're coated in green. So that's a beautiful card. All right, I'm going to leave you there. Have a blessed day. Namaste. If you need any personal readings, you can email me at sacredspiritualhealer at gmail.com. And have a blessed day.